food lovers like me, the ongoing week-long celebration of the culinary scene in each city is sure to excite you. In its fifth edition now, the Restaurant Week India is upon us once again. Let's check it out. Here's a chance to experience some of India's best high-end restaurants through a prefix menu at a nominal charge. This not only allows participating restaurants to showcase their skills, but also lets you experience restaurants you may not be familiar with or may want to revisit. With a massive lineup of participating restaurants across three cities, Restaurant Week India promises to be quite a feast. Each restaurant will have a preset three course menu at 1000 rupees per person for lunch and 1200 rupees for dinner in Mumbai and New Delhi. In Bangalore, it is priced at 750 rupees. And for those of you who have special affection for music, here's the Symphony Orchestra of India offering a series of concerts in Mumbai. With the growing number of Indian players representing the finest local talent, the Symphony Orchestra of India has organized a concert of orchestral operatic favorites at Jamshed Baba Theatre on 30th of September. This is sure to provide a solid foundation for the future of orchestral playing in this country. And now it's time to tell you about a travel destination which you just can't miss out on. Here is the MD and CEO of State Bank of India, Divakar Gupta, talking about his dream destination. I would certainly like to travel to areas which are uncharted. Parts of Africa, uh, some of these uh, parks over there, or uh, for that matter where there's a little bit of history like Greece, or islands which are complete uh, uh, holidays like Hawaii. I think those are the places uh, one would like to visit. <laughs> 